fog, you say? Well, this shall be interesting. Hey animators, it's December, you know what it means. The Christmas hat is back. That looked horrible. Nonetheless, I did test the sound this time, so hopefully it should be better. Don't judge me. Also, I know you guys are waiting for the system. I'll do the system. I just need my me and my co-hosts to have time on the same time. However, today you guys voted for Realistic Fog and that was voted in my Discord server, so that's good. If you want to suggest and vote for your stuff, you can join the server as well. It's free and a lot of fun. Now let me throw in some big boy words such as economy, Texas, imperialism, not to get in trouble by a specific organization. Anyhow, we're here for the fog. So let me add some scenery first and we can start. <laughs> I have no idea what half of these are. Island Village, okay, that's a nice one. The vibes are up, man. Here we go. And just listen to the Christmas jolly music in the background. I like it. I'm feeling the spirit already. The main problem when it comes to fog is if I just turn on my high quality rendering thing, mostly your fog is going to look like this. And okay, although it does kind of give a foggy effect, it's not really the best fog. And a lot of people agree, since this suggestion got over 70 votes. Now for our Discord poll votes, that's a lot. And know that this method will not be 100% super realistic fog because it's still my animator. It is a trick you can use to make your fog slightly more interesting. And first step, believe it or not, is opening Google because we need a texture to use. Search images, turbulence texture. Let's go for tool size large. Turbulent noise. Uh, this is a nice one. Let's go with this one. You can always find better textures. I'm just using something to have for the sake of an example. So what I would do in this case, I haven't actually done realistic fog before. Put the custom station point to zero so we can scale it easier. And if we scale this cube up, I think it's Z, okay. And just leave it like this for the time being because this has texture that resembles smoke. So if I make this thing glow and only render glow, it does look like a foggy valley. You know what I mean? You see my point? And heck, if you want, you can just repeat the texture multiple times. You have a better fog, which which is uneven. However, if you go below its level, you're kind of inside the cube now and it doesn't show anymore. Although, I think we could combine this with the already existing fog. Um, right, fog. <laughs> Let's increase the fog size. So it's slowly coming in. Turn off the clouds and use a sky image. Oh, that will do. And also this fog, custom fog color, should be a bit closer to what we have on the screen, just saying. This instantly feels more like a foggy scene. So let's go for fog distance and decrease the size a bit. Hold on, if we just go for graphics, render, glow radius, let's put the radius down. Ah, see this, we're getting better shapes. Now it just feels like one of those thick, fog scene like okay this is too much if you're going for a far away shot maybe have more of this i just don't know how you fix this this is the only issue so far and if there was a way for you to just like put it over the scenery somehow my brain hurts big brain ah okay okay this will do what if we try inverted cubes lock it on this cube so now it's the same size but inverted render depth minus one okay i guess but the glow color can be brought down there's still another layer i don't know maybe adjust them by each shot that's the limitation it's still nine meter i don't exactly know how to help you there but it is an interesting thought to start from. Now, another thing is the lighting. If you're gonna have a foggy scene, fog diffuses light. There shouldn't be noticeable shadows, because if you do this, this is kind of disgusting. I'm gonna put the sunlight color down to be gray and put the ambient color to also be gray. Okay, you can keep the blue tint because that's the atmosphere effect, because this is now a foggy scene, no matter where from you look at it. The only thing is really those layers, because I don't know where you would position it. It's not a volumetric shape. It's not like you can position the smoke physically it's mostly cubes and planes that can hold textures, not volume itself. So if you go below a certain point, bam, you just lost one layer of a texture. That's, that's the issue. And I'm yet still scratching my head with how to fix it. You can have different layers of complexity, man. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm loving this. Mm. Basically, yes, a foggy scene is what I mean. Hey, that rhymes. My best bet is you do it manually. For each shot, every time you change the camera, you adjust the planes manually, but that's still not that much of work. I mean, it does look better than the original, that's something. However, I hope this tutorial was helpful and you guys will be able to do something interesting with it. If you find a way how to get rid of the issue that I listed several times now, feel free to let me know in the comment section because I want to know and perhaps make a follow-up video. <laughs> Who knows? Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the bell and maybe like the video. Please. Self-promotion at its finest. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay sharp.
and Merry Christmas.